Now we are going to see a new chapter fractions. A whole can either be a region or a collection. A whole can either be a region or a collection. So that is a whole. This is a whole pizza. That is what I mentioned you. A whole can either be a region or a collection. It's complete pizza. Okay, it's a one pizza. It's a complete pizza. It's a whole thing. Okay, it is a region when the whole object is one. It is a region. Whole can either be, sir, that is a single pizza. It is a whole pizza. Either be a region or a collection. That is what we are saying. Okay, it is a region when the whole object is one. It is a, it is a region means a part when the whole object is only one. Okay, when we talk about the parts of a whole, we actually use fraction. That is, what is a fraction? The definition is, that is what is a fraction? It is a part of a whole thing. It is a fraction. Part of a whole thing, it is called as a fraction. That is what, when we talk about part of a whole, when we talk about a part of a whole, we, we actually use fraction. That is what. So this is a whole pizza. So it converted into four parts. Okay. I just cut into four equal halves. Four equal halves. This is the first half. This is the second half. This is the third half. And this is the fourth half. So I cut into equal uh, what? Equal parts. I cut into four pieces. I cut into this is a single pizza. It is a whole pizza. So now what I've done it, I cut into four equal parts. That is what. So when we talk about a parts of a whole, we use fractions. So in for example, I I've taken what example I've taken what pizza. So it is a whole pizza. I cut into four equal parts. Okay, what you're going to say? This is what? So it's a whole pizza. It's a single pizza, one pizza. So pizza, only one pizza. Okay, so this is what if you just what one, two, three, four parts. Now we cut into. If I need half means what I'm telling you, one by two. Okay, if I need three fourth means what is, I need three uh, three parts mean three by four. Okay, so if I need only one one by four only one one part only one part I need no one by four. Okay, if I need two parts means what do you get two parts mean you can get two by four. That is two parts mean two by four. If I need so if I need only one part means one by four. If I need two parts means two by four. If I simplify this means two divided by two and four is divided by two you can get what two is divided by two you can get one four is divided by two you can get that is one by two. That is two parts mean half and three fourth I need it means one two three four that is three by four. Okay so four by four means you can get four divided by four you can get a whole that is that is a whole okay it is a whole pizza okay if i need all the four pieces means i have taken a full pizza that is what i think so you understand so again i'll repeat if i need if you need only one part means from the piece na from the whole part whole, how many parts in this pizza four parts if i need only one means one by four okay this is called as quarter what is this quarter this is what i've written quarter so if i need two by four that is, if I need two pieces from this, two pieces from the whole pizza. So I have taken only two pieces from the whole pizza. Means how many parts? I have segregated into four parts. But I have taken only two parts from this. That means two by four. So if I simplify this, you can get one by two. So two is divided by two, you can get one. Four is divided by two, you can get two. That is what I mean. If I take three, three parts mean three by four. That is three fourth we can say. This is quarter, this is half, this is three fourth. Okay, I think so you understand. I'll repeat. So what is a fraction? Fraction is a part of a whole. Fraction is a part of a whole. So for example, I've taken a pizza. You know that this is a whole pizza. So I cut into equal parts. I cut into four equal parts. If I take only one part means you need one by four. Okay, that is quarter piece. If I need two parts, one, two, two parts means two by four. So two by four, if I simply, if, if I simp if I'm going to simplify this means two is going to divide by two and four is also going to divide by two. So two is divided by two, we can get one. Four is divided by two, that is what? Two. One by two, that means I can get half piece. Half pizza. I can take the half, half pizza. If I need three parts, that means one, two, three parts mean three by four. That is called as three fourth. Three by four. So if I take the four parts means completely, I will take a whole pizza. That is four by four, you can get a whole, only one. Four is divided by four, you can get one. That is whole pizza I have taken for myself. That is the concept. 
so that is what i've written so example half means 1 by 2 quarter means 1 by 4 and 3 fourth means 3 by 4 all these words show that they are part of something so these are all what what they mention is a part of something they mention so it is a collection when there is a group of objects collection means a group of object we can consider so this is a box i've i have already uh, draw the picture this is a box in this box a lot of beads are there so lots of lot of beads 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so almost in this box 12 beads are there so from the 12 beads from this box the whole box it's a collection of beads i've taken only two beads from this box so what i'm going to do 2 by 12 how i'm going to write 2 by 12 so if i'm going to divide it by 2 so 2 divided by 2, 1. 12 is divided by 2, you can get 1 by 6. This is simplification. So I just, you understand only this. No need to consider all these things. That is 2 by 12. This is a fraction. So total number of beads in this box is 12 beads. I have taken only 2 beads. So this is what? 2 by 12. It is a fraction. Okay, it is a collection when there is a group of object. So it is a collection when there is a group of objects. So this, these are all group of objects. So it is a collection of beads. So it, there is a box, lot of beads inside the box, almost 12 beads in the box. It is a collection of beads. It's a, it is collection means a group of object, nothing but. So I have taken only two beads means, so two by 12, it is a fraction. So this is a whole collection of beads. We can take a part of it by taking. So I've taken only two parts from this beads, from this, uh, from the collection. So how many totally? 12 beads. I've taken only two parts from this. So this is a whole collection of beads. We can take a part of it by taking two beads from the total collection. So total collection of beads is what? Total collection is 12. So total collection, total beads is what? 12. So I've taken how many parts? Only two parts taken taken beads taken beads that is taken beads is called as taken beads this is called two beads this is called as a parts otherwise beads in the, in, from this particular place used parts also taken beads that is two parts only i have taken from this collection from the whole collection from the collection means i have taken total number of beads it's a collection collection means nothing but a group of object so group of object in this box is 12 beads so from the 12 beads i have taken only two parts that means i have taken only two beads from this so 2 by 12 is a fraction i think so you understand the basic concept i'll repeat once again what is a fraction fraction is a part of a whole so um, and also uh, we have to give i give uh, i have given some examples about pizza and also beads okay this is a two example of what uh, fractions i've told you if i take a whole pizza then i cut into equal parts that means four parts i cut into four equal parts if i take only one part means one by four that is what quarter if i take two piece mean two two parts means two by four that is if you simplify two by four you can get half one by two you can get it then if i take three parts from this three by four that is what three fourth if i take the four parts i have taken for myself means four by four i have taken that means four is divided by four you can get only one that means the whole pizza i have taken for myself so this is also this examples example means i have told you half quarter and three by four and fraction is made up of two numbers one is this is one by two is this is one number it is another number so fraction is made up of two numbers one is a numerator other one is a denominator that is top number is a numerator and bottom number is a denominator we will explain again i'll explain again and also it is a what collection it is a whole thing and also whole means nothing but it's a part of what is this whole means either a region or a collection whole it is a whole thing it's a whole thing from the whole thing we have taken some parts that is called as a fraction uh, that means that is what when we talk about part of a whole that means fraction so part of a whole is nothing but fraction that you must understand very clearly and it is a collection when there is a group of objects collection is nothing but i've told you region means part collection means a group of object so in this box there is a 
what a group of a group of objects that means a collection of object collection means nothing but group of objects what is the object inside that that is 12 beads inside the box but this is a total number of collection so total beads is 12 i've taken only two parts that means i've taken only two beads from this so 2 by 12 is a fraction you can get it very clearly i think so you understand the basic concepts of fraction we will see in the what other concept other concept we will see in the next class